Yup, you guys got that right. Even more drama is going on over at the FNF Twitter community. This time involving with another mod developer and mod that a lot of you guys have played and is well known in the community. We'll be diving deeper into that drama and what changes we could expect to come in Roblox FNF. So make sure you smack the like and subscribe so we can spread awareness about the situation. Everybody's gotta know about it, it's very serious. And let's get going. Tis the new year and we're getting another new drama situation going on over at the FNF Twitter community. And this time it's lead to a yet another mod developer getting caught in the act with doing some bad deeds and getting into some bad activities as well. We've already had the more ultra situation last week regarding about the Bob and Bosa mod, but this time we have another new individual and that is going to be May Maze for days or otherwise known as the underscore maze. They're actually the creator of several mods such as Versus Kai, Versus Robot, but they're actually also the director of the one of the most popular mods in FNF which is otherwise going to be a Sunday Night Mickey Mouse mod or sadmouse.avi. And apparently there's been a bunch of allegations and also proof going against Maze that he's been promoting NSFW not safe for work activities. He's been caught grooming and also been doing vor as well as a lot of other bad stuff. Vegas Warehouse, a fellow community member, actually went into the Maze's Discord server in order to launch an investigation behind this whole situation and they were able to compile a whole Google document of all their findings of stuff that they were able to find against the maze. We are going to be referencing from that document and going forward this is going to bring up a trigger warning so if you guys are sensitive about topics like these please kindly do tune out. But basically moving on this document created by Banus is going to explain all of his findings that he was able to find regarding about the situation which does include proof of the maze doing these said illegal activities. As explained in the discord server there were a few channels where he and other members of the server would post very fetishy fat artwork or occasionally discuss with other members with no actual form of age verification. There was also the Chalk Chat server where for a small amount of time the servers was promoted and were dedicated to that same artwork style but this time relating it to generally not safe for work channels where Maze was allegedly partaking in NSFW roleplay with another person. Here we can see those messages being sent from the roleplaying and also proof that it was the user as well. But he does mention that the server was made by a 16 year old miner and that he was knowledgeable about it. Moving on to more proof of the server, it showcases even more roleplay between Maze and the individual with them, also creating drawings of it by the creator of the server who was once again 16 at the time. Now the whole main problem with this whole situation is that the discord server had no source or no precautions with age verifications there was no process to limit the age on the server so miners were able to join into the server and get exposed to this NSFW content which is really really bad but unfortunately it does go even deeper than that regarding another allegation against the maze apparently when maze released a full week for the sunday night mod he received backlash for the intense screen shaking that was included in really happy and instead of adding the ability to turn the screen shaking off he decided to make a post claiming that the screen shaking was a mechanic similar to the type in monochrome or the pendulum in safety lullaby. He was completely disregarded the concern of seizures as the mod didn't even have a seizure warning at the time of release. You guys already know about that little warning that pops up before you load up an FNF mod. It says warning there's gonna be some bright lights in the mod so make sure you you know be careful when you're playing the mod. Well the mod doesn't actually have that warning and it doesn't give that peace of mind message to those people who actually might be prone to seizures and stuff like that. It's very important to have that. 
the document further goes on to disclose that Mays was attempted to convince a minor who was 15 at the time to break up with their current boyfriend and date him instead after making her send bad pictures and do naughty things with him. These are some of the proof that was included and we can see Mays committing a crime and grooming the minor. Here we can see the victim giving her explanation and saying that he is a groomer and manipulating people and also saying that she is below the age of consent in her state. But that's literally all I'm going to cover because otherwise this video is going to go on for at least 20 minutes. Like this is pretty much all the proof that we need. It's absolutely sickening to see another mod developer go down this route in the community and see this whole thing go down once again. Honestly at this point it's like when is this whole thing going to end? But with drama like this going on in the FNF community it also does lead to some changes and could affect us over on Roblox FNF as well. So what changes could we see going on in some of the games that we are playing? Actually, some changes have already happened. FNF News on Twitter reports that due to recent events, the Sad Mouse to AVI mod has been removed from the Hall of Fame. Here we can see that Sad Mouse is no longer in the list of Hall of Fame mods and projects that were deemed successful in the FNF community. Also, Melon, one of the developers of Roblox Yet Another Funkin' Night, posted as well stating that due to recent events regarding Maze, Mouse.AVI and its animations will be removed from YAFN, and Maze will be removed from the credits of the Pumpkin Pie mod as well. So already have a Roblox FNF game confirmed to be removing Sad that Mouse AVI from the game, and we could honestly see even more Roblox FNF games follow this trend and removing the Sad.AVI Mouse mod out of their games as well. Or it could honestly lead to smaller changes as well, where they could just remove the maze from the credits of the mod, and that could honestly be a nice little fix as well. But in short, Roblox FNF games do want to announce that they are not condoning any of this kind of behavior, and that they are going to be taking actions against mod developers who are caught doing situations and got getting caught in the acts such as this. Like we've seen with the more ultra situation last week, in which most other Roblox. FNF games removed him from the credits and some games even actually removed the whole mod outright with the animations as well. We could honestly see this happen again with Mouse.AVI. It's just terrible to see this happen all over again even since we had it to go through this last week. But with that being said, what do you guys think about the situation? What should Roblox FNF games do with Sad Mouse.AVI? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you smack the like and subscribe so everybody knows about it. We gotta spread awareness about the serious situation and we'll see you guys on the next one.